Saying goodbye to the pets this morning. Right, so as you can see in the car, currently wearing a Hugo Boss suit. This is actually the suit that I wore in Portugal when I did the suit challenge on the quads many moons ago. And today we're back in the studio shooting another campaign for Boss United. This video isn't an ad, but I thought we don't get out of the house much anymore. So I wanted to vlog the studio shoot day. I've got a fair amount of content to create in the studio. We've got a four hour slot. We're going to Unique Capture in Milton Keynes, so nice and local. I'm gonna be able to utilize their infinity wall, which is a bit better than a backdrop because essentially you have a sloped ceiling and a sloped floor and it's just all painted white, which means that having a nice clean backdrop is just absolute at its peak. I'm gonna head over there now and uh, yeah, hopefully we're gonna create some cool content. The concept of today is essentially based around kicking a football, kicking the fragrance and some nice profile shots. So it should be relatively straightforward, although it's been quite a long time since I've kicked a football around and I am expected to be able to do some keepy ups. So yeah, wish me luck. So we've just arrived to Unique Capture and I thought before we get going, I'm gonna show you around the studio where we're gonna be shooting today. This is epic. This is exactly what we needed for today's shoot. So here you have the infinity wall with Ellie, the photographer today. <laughs> and the idea is, is that we're gonna have a black floor to pull out the contrast of my feet. And then we've got the whitewashed wall, which is gonna diffuse the light lovely. A little chill area. Not that we do any resting around here. And we've got loads. And then we've got loads of studio lights stacked over here, should we need any. And then we've got some more sets over here product stand lovely this could come in really handy actually if we need to shoot any products to photoshop into the image and we've got a bath set up that is the fish tank that i needed when i was doing that stuff the other day are we okay to go through to the other rooms yeah, of course you can. amazing and we take a look and here we have the dressing room and toilet so this way you've changed hung my clothes up just there and then we take a look into another area Ooh, hello mate hi how are, how are you doing you okay yes very well thank you looks like you've been busy in here yeah really busy today lovely so we've got a bedroom set up with kitchen area i mean this is convenience isn't it straight out of bed straight into the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> lovely so this would be perfect if you're trying to film any kitchen or food related content, amazing, very nice. And obviously we've got all of the lighting ready to go. We've even got a staircase going on in here. Wow. There's like a little storage over there. Yeah, this is fantastic. I love it. What's this rig for here? Is that for like a large? This is a tripod, this is a massive proper tripod. For a big, big camera? Yeah. Yeah, that is an absolute monster. Yeah. Very well kitted out here. Lovely. Right, get out of your hair. Have <laughs> nice a good you, mate. Cheers, buddy. Little baby girl. I'm not sure how happy Lumi is about me sitting on her office chair today, but yesterday's shoot was absolutely brilliant. I forgot to pick up the camera after I left actually because I was too busy rushing home and getting ready for dinner because I was pretty hungry 
and yeah it was a really really lovely day very relaxed and chilled the studio was fantastic there was plenty of room and space to work in so that was great and i had the images sent over yesterday for me to check out to uh, star some of my favorites so they can have a little edit from the team over at Unique Capture. I'm just waiting for a couple to come through today because they're actually gonna be going live tomorrow on my Instagram account, which will be before this video goes out. So super quick turnaround, it's how we like to roll. But I've just received a few items through the post and I want to share them with you because there's some really, really exciting bits in there. The first one I'm gonna talk about is actually a brand that I'm gonna be working with in the coming weeks or month. It's Bang & Olufsen and they do incredible speakers. You'd have seen over on my Instagram, I've got some headphones from the guys and we also have the speaker in the gym, which you're probably quite used to seeing on the channel, uh, which is also from them. And they just do absolutely beautiful sound. They also do loads of other stuff as well, including TVs and the like. So I'm gonna get this open and the reason why I'm so excited and I just can't wait to share this with you guys on here rather than where I'm supposed to be doing the collaboration over on Instagram is because it's in collaboration with Baluti. And if you remember, not too long ago, I did a video for my Teresa and I actually picked up a pair of Baluti sandals, which were the beautiful leather sandals uh, with the quad strap that goes over. And this is in partnership with Bangalovson uh, with Baluti. So as you can imagine, a speaker that is just pure luxury and not only does it perform incredibly it also looks beautiful so i'm going to open it now we'll take a look and uh yeah and then we'll get on to the other parcels that have also arrived Very well protected, that's what that is. <laughs> so, obviously very important, power lead. I'm gonna need one of those. And then the speaker itself. Oh, it's got a good weight to it. It's got to weigh 15 to 20 kilograms. Wowzer. So here it says, a Baluti leather maker established in Paris since 1895, a Danish luxury audio brand, Bang & Olufsen, collaborate for a limited edition collection of products. The collaboration honors the heritage and craftsmanship associated with both Masons and combines some of Bang & Olufsen's most iconic products with Baluti's emblematic Venezia leather patinated by hand to propose a unique collection. Sounds very smart to me. I'm excited to see this in person. I've obviously seen a photo of this. Uh, this is just a, a little ticket that shares some information about leather care. And uh, obviously this is a little booklet, kind of like a manual, I guess, for the speaker itself. Let's take a look inside. I feel like you can't see this enough. I need to come back. I'll tell you what. Let's prop it on there. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, good. Wow. That is a piece of craftsmanship. It's absolutely stunning. Give you a little closer look. This is gonna pump, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell straight away. Wow. I'm not gonna mess around, I'm gonna get it plugged in. I'm gonna pump an epidemic soundtrack. Otherwise I'll get a copyright strike. So on the bottom of this speaker, it's got two RJ45 plugs, which could be to do with incorporating it in a larger system, such as surround sound. It's got the power lead, it's got a mic jack, it's got a USB-C port, and it also has what looks like potentially an on and off switch or a mute switch on it as well. I can also see that there's a few threads on the bottom as well, so I'm assuming that you can have this either fixed down or on a stand or something, so very cool. 
So I've just plugged the speaker in and as you can see the digital display is actually integrated with the top so it's completely hidden when the lights are off but then as soon as you switch it on you can see uh, all of the control buttons on the top of the speaker. So we're just currently looking to see if I can connect onto this with Bluetooth. I'm not sure if there's something I need to press. Your device isn't set up yet. I to know, get started, my love. download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Oh, I've got that already. The volume's at six. So yeah, that was nice and easy. We got the speaker set up on Google Home and I can confirm it absolutely pumps. I didn't actually play a song on uh, the speaker that I'm allowed to play it on YouTube sadly so I couldn't share it and also let's be honest you were never going to experience the sound quality because you have to be in the room listening to the speaker not listening to it through the speakers on whatever you're listening to it through but we are just about to open the next box which I'm actually going to do this one here because I'm really excited to open this box this is from Reese by the way guys these are all PR packages and the reason why I'm excited to open this one is because Reese have just launched their brand new golf collection. As you know, I enjoy my golf. I'm not very good at it, but I do enjoy it. And they asked me to select a few pieces from the new collection, as well as some pieces from the summer collection. Always open the envelope first. So just a lovely little note from the team basically is you just say obviously the new golf range has arrived and it's been designed for performance whilst allowing great movement and providing comfort at the same time and without saying also looking effortlessly cool so very nice so you'll see here this is a light grey, I think they called it a pale grey online, pair of golf trousers. They actually feel like they're water resistant, I can't confirm that, but they definitely feel like they are. Yeah, so they're the Ranger Tech that I went for uh, in a pale grey. I went for a size 32 because I wanted to be able to get these tailored down to fit me perfectly. The reason why I selected the pale grey is because I already have black golf trousers. I felt like a pair of grey trousers would look really nice with some of the tops that I already have. So first in the collection, a nice pair of gray trousers. And next up, I think this is my favorite piece from their collection. Absolutely love this when I saw it. So as you can see, it's got the kind of pale gray gilet kind of effect, but then it's got this beautiful cream stretch fit sleeve. They call this the Formby quilted funnel, nearly forgot that then, and as you can see it comes with the uh, silver hardware zip, got zipped pockets, and then on the back you'll see that they've just gone across the top of the shoulders uh, with that flannel. This is really really lovely, and of course if I was to wear it with the trousers it'd make a lovely kind of like set, but also this could of course be teamed up with black trousers, would look fantastic. Also got a pair of olive golf trousers as well, this would look nice with. So. Great stuff, really impressed. The uh, quality feels fantastic. I wouldn't expect anything less from Reese. It actually says in the uh, labels here, Reese Golf. And then the last piece from the Reese collection is, of course, a golf polo. This has got a lovely weight to it, actually. It was nice and heavy. Let me just get rid of the tissues, very rusty. So as you can see, it's like a block color, um, multi-toned polo with uh, pop buttons and a nice kind of like striped tag around the back of the collar as well which I quite like. I love browns as you'll probably know from my Instagram so this was a no-brainer. I'm going to be able to wear this of course with my black golf trousers and it's going to look really really nice but they have got a fantastic selection of golfing attire over on reese.com so if you do want to go and check out what else they have in their collection it honestly is like wearable fashion in the sense that you wouldn't even need to wear some of these pieces to play golf in. They're just nice pieces. So I could easily just rock that out and nobody would know that it was a golf top. 
I will be wearing it for golf, of course, but there's some, some lovely pieces. I got this in a size medium, by the way, if uh, anyone wanted to know, and uh, it's got a nice stretch fit to it, which is really, really important when you're playing because there's nothing worse than feeling restricted. The other day when I played, it was really bad weather and I decided to take a coat and the coat that I took was not designed for golf or, or active wear at all, to be honest with you. It was just the coat to keep me warm whilst I was out and about. So walking was probably the, uh, the most amount of exercise that they envisioned anyone having wearing that coat. But of course, when I'm trying to swing, I'm pulling, it's all tight and uncomfortable and it was really restricting my uh, flow. So it is really important to make sure you're wearing the right attire for the right sport, of course. So yeah, it's lovely to see that Reese have jumped on uh, the golf hype because I feel like golf is becoming so popular now and I'm, I'm loving it because lots of my friends play and uh, there's lots of people that I'm also friends with that are looking to get into golf. So I'm here for it because I absolutely love it. Now, moving on from golf, back into the fashion stuff. I actually selected a pair of trainers that you may have seen on their website. They've got a few different colorways of these, but I just really love the soft cream tones on these. They have a nice sort of premium feel about them. I don't know why. I think it's just to do with like the off-white, the creams, the tones. I thought, you know what, for the summer, these could be a nice pair of sneakers to style up with some trousers because wearing trainers and trousers, unless for me they're like white pumps, um, just fresh white clean pumps, like the Fendi ones that I featured the other day, as long as they're plain, then they look quite smart with some navy trousers. But there are a lot of trainers out there that just don't go quite as well with trousers. Uh, but I feel like this style does. I think it kind of reminds me a little bit of Valentino. Valentino, for a very long time, have done trainers that are relatively similar to this. And people wear them with suits and they just look really cool and comfortable. And I would say that these are kind of more of an affordable alternative to those. So picked these up out of their collection and uh, hopefully I'm gonna get lots of wear out of these in the summer. And then the next two items that I selected come as a two. I've decided to go for a cream suit. And this is, I think, a linen cotton mix. I can't be sure on that. I believe it is. I believe that's what it was stated as line. I absolutely love double breast jackets. And this has soft buttons on it, which are just so smart. They kind of remind me of like tuxedos. Of course, I've got the trousers to match. And these trousers have actually got adjustable side straps on them. So should they be a little bit tight after dinner and you want to release a little bit of movement in the trouser, that's a lovely little thing to be able to do. And of course, I'm gonna be taking these over to Suster and Hicks to have these tailored up to fit me. I think again, I need to check, I might have not done on these, but yeah, I did. So I went for a 32 inch waist on these for the purpose that I wanted to make sure that I had lots of leg room and lots of fabric to play with when I'm gonna get this suit tailored, uh, how I like my suits to fit. So yeah, this is, um, this is a suit that I've really, really wanted in my wardrobe ever since I shrunk my linen suit that I had previously. Um, I loved wearing it, I loved the tones during the summer. So this is basically the replacement of that suit. Happy days, I feel like a boxer holding my belt. <laughs> and then, I'm gonna tidy this stuff up and then we'll take a look at the final box. So last but not least, I was contacted by L'Occitane. They asked if I'd like to select a few pieces from their website that I'd like to try out. So I had a little browse and I was like, do you know what, there is. There is some pieces that I'd like to try. My skincare routine predominantly is moisturizer, the odd eye cream and a serum. And so I was looking for products that could help with other areas of my body that I don't typically focus on. So first up, I decided to select a couple of deodorants. Now, I use a gel currently from Gillette and it's absolutely fine, it's fantastic. It doesn't leave me with bad body odor. It performs very well. It smells fine, but I wouldn't say, maybe it's because I just wear it all the time. I notice the smell of the deodorant, although the functionality of it's great. It doesn't necessarily ooze off scent and smell that I pick up anyway. And that may be just, like I said, because I wear it all the time and I'm just kind of immune to it. I wanted to try these two because A, this is a balm and this is a spray and I'm currently using a gel. So it's just a different type of deodorant. I wanted to see how the smell and performance of the smell uh, worked alongside myself. So this is really interesting because this isn't like a spray deodorant. This is kind of more like a body spray deodorant, the way in which it sprays out. I don't know 
if you're gonna see this on here, but if you see that, that kind of sprays out more like a body spray. It says it's a deodorant spray, so um, it'd be interesting to try that actually and see how that performs. And it says that it's non-sticky, which is really important because it's so frustrating if you apply deodorant and then you get like sticky pits, it's not, not very nice. So that's good news. Um, and of course, to leave you feeling fresh all day. So yeah, I had a little uh, smell of this one actually, and I can actually currently smell this one. It smell lovely, so that's a good start. So I've selected these two deodorants here. And so next up, I selected a body cream. This is the Creme Ultra Rich Corpse Ultra Rich Body Cream. It's quite a mouthful. And uh, as you can see there on the lid, it's quite a large tub, which is obviously important because I'm gonna be applying it all over my body. Throughout the winter months, I think it's like the, um, the fake heat that you get in houses, radiators and stuff like that, it kind of dries my skin out a little bit. Not massively, but just in certain areas, it's never really consistent wear. Sometimes on my knees, sometimes on my elbows, uh, sometimes on the back of my arms. If I've got any dry patches uh, on my body that I want to keep hydrated, uh, especially in the summer when you have your sort of like legs and arms out a lot more because obviously the weather's hot. Personally, I like to keep my skin looking as best as possible. So this is gonna be great for moisturizing throughout the summer months because my body's on show and I don't want any dry patches if possible. Um, sometimes it's inevitable, but yeah, if I stay on top of uh, moisturizing, then I should limit that. And um, like I said, it's not really that bad. I just get a little bit dry. I don't suffer from really dry skin. I don't need anything too heavy. Something that I was lacking a little bit in my bathroom grooming products. And then these next two little tubes you can see here, again, these are moisturizers. One's for hands and one is for feet. I get quite dry hands during the winter and kind of like autumn months, especially when I've been working outside. So if I'm doing like hands-on jobs and they get battered about a little bit and I'm in and out of the elements, I do find that my knuckles can get really dry and also, I kind of neglect my feet a bit in the winter. I'm not gonna lie, nobody sees my feet. They live in socks and so I just neglect them a little bit. A foot balm here. I asked Lydia what would she suggest because they've got a different couple of different types of hand creams and foot creams and she was like, balms tend to be a little bit sort of like heavier, which is what I would need, something that I can apply overnight. So probably just before bed. Um, well, I do this actually already. I already have hand creams that I use. I absolutely love them. I get through them really quickly. Just before bed, I put them on. So overnight, I've got hand creams on. So this is almost like a top up product, but I don't have any uh, foot creams. So Lids was like, rather than go for a cream or a gel or a serum, go for a balm because it's gonna be a little bit heavier and uh, it will help a lot more. So this is the intensive foot balm for dry and rough feet, which is this little bad boy here. So yeah, they're the five items that I selected from L'Occitane. Well, that completes my little unboxing, doesn't it, mate? You okay? You a good boy? Oh, no licking. <laughs> we know what you lick, mate. Need to stop that. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love that suit. Can you see it? I haven't seen it on yet. No, I've not put it on, it's too big. Oh, I, bought, no. I bought it too big on purpose. So I can get it tailored. Oh, no. oh, I've just been sitting on my feet and I can't feel them. <laughs> my circulation is so bad. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, tidy this stuff up now, get everything hung up in the wardrobes. And then I need to shoot off because I've got a hair appointment with Greg at Unity Barbers, uh, which is actually on the same industrial estate as the studio that I shot at. So I'm gonna go there now, and then I'm gonna try and get to the driving range and do a little bit of practice shooting because I definitely need to work on my game after I played the other day because that was a little bit embarrassing to say the least. It wasn't a good game of golf at all. So I'm gonna get a little bit of practice in, but I won't bore you and bring you along to those two things. So um, I'm gonna pick up the camera again tomorrow where I'm gonna be venturing into London uh, we're going to be going to a lovely hotel restaurant and I've also got a bespoke shirt fitting which I'm really excited about as well. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow morning as we're heading down to London. Well, as I mentioned yesterday, today we're going to be heading into London which is actually my first visit to London this year which is crazy because we're coming into the summer. Uh, speaking of the summer, it's also the first day this year that I can remember it being this beautiful outside. We've got 20 degrees and uh, the sun is shining, which also makes it the perfect day to head into the city because I didn't really fancy walking around London getting rained on today because it has been very miserable recently, hasn't it? Oh, I think I've got a cat hair. I've just been giving Lumi a cuddle. 
So, before we headed out, I just wanted to let you know what we're doing today. So we're going to be heading to Goring Hotel. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's in Victoria, uh, quite close to Buckingham Palace and obviously Victoria Park. I'm going to be having a bespoke shirt fitting from the master tailor at Dooley and Rostron. They're actually a Mancunian company that are based in King Street, I believe, in Manchester. So if you are up north and you want to go and check out their flagship, you can do so. It used to be called, I think, Frank Rostron Shirt Makers and Adam Dooley has now set up this new venture for Dooley and Rostron. They do some ready to wear pieces as well as some bespoke tailoring as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna be going down today to have a lovely shirt fitted. I'm not sure what kind yet, whether we're gonna be picking fabrics, colors, uh, we'll see how it goes when we're down there. But before I headed out, I thought I'd share with you my outfit of the day. I've actually packed myself my Fairfax and Favor briefcase, which is very smart, but rather than it be full of files, it's actually full of camera equipment. <laughs> Today I'm actually going to be taking a vlog also on the phone which is something that I try not to do too often because I always feel like the quality is never as good but phones are getting better so um, it's just the sound really so let me know if it was really not enjoyable watching the iPhone footage from today and I'll try and avoid that in the future but if it's okay and everyone's cool with it then it certainly makes uh, life a lot easier to transport less camera equipment around so I'm going to be giving that a go but yeah let's quickly whip upstairs and uh, take a look at the OOTD. Well this is how we're rolling down to the city today I've got my briefcase as I just mentioned a second ago with a linen Zara blazer Mixed home date just with a David Gandhi and MS white t shirt, Tom Ford sunglasses, Dries van Norton herringbone trousers, and then my suede hacket of London shoes. So, yeah, keeping it quite smart casual today, and I'm going to be getting the train down, which I haven't done in so long. I actually checked my rail card and it went out of date in August 2020, which was a long time ago, wasn't it? So, I need to get that updated as well. But yeah, it should be a lovely day actually, and uh, we have got afternoon tea as well, so let's do this. Well, we just arrived to the Goring Hotel in Victoria, as you can see behind me, and we're just going to jump inside. And I keep on looking down there. Is yeah, the camera is there. It's not there, is it? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to jump inside and grab ourselves a coffee uh, before we start today's fitting. Very sensitive when it comes to bees these days, as you can see. Got solitary bee. Kind of like a hive, I guess. Some slightly kind of like heavier ones there, but yeah. it's not too heavy to the point that's gonna you know feel too weighty. Got you. Um, and I'd say this is just two books. So, yeah. although well, this does look lovely with like country attire, well, I mean, that's, that's the thing, it's nice. Quite a lot. Yes, um, there's all these kind of like ways to kind of play around with like shirts. I mean, we're talking about casual shirt, mm -hmm. my eyes keep getting drawn like around here. Like, I love. I love that one that you picked out earlier. Like that the that white, was the, and blue, that yeah. one there. Yeah, I love that. Really, so these ones here are the kind of four most kind of most popular types of collars. So yeah. you've got the kind of cutaway, the semi cutaway. You've got the more this. Obviously, it's slightly differently how it sits on the neck. Yeah, I haven't got a shirt that's like this, yeah. which is cool. But for an open collared shirt, would you say that that's too nope. formal? Would you say that works? Yeah, I mean, it's literally the main difference between that collar, those two collars, is it's just 
I think it's about a quarter of an inch, it's pulled around that a little bit more, so yeah. it, it does set a bit more like sharper. Yeah. But I mean, like I said, if you wanted to shave off a little bit, so you're still getting the feature of it, yeah. but it's not as, you know. As deep. Exactly. Yeah. But this is our view from our table, which is lovely. You can see the gardens out there, off the terrace. Such a lovely little spot. Very nicely done. That's us done for the day, just arrived back in Milton Keynes and I've had all the measurements taken and gone through all of the process of selecting my shirt and obviously I'm not able to show you what it is that I selected because the shirt needs to go away and get made. Um, we're probably going to be taking around three to four weeks to get the shirt back but when I do I'll be sharing it with you guys but essentially it's a pink and white pinstriped shirt. It's going to look really lovely with these sort of like soft tones and colours so of course I'll uh, get that onto the channel as soon as I receive it. So yes, I'm going to get back to my car, get home. Just found out that the uh, the gates, the entrance walls as you go into our home has been hit by a courier driver today. And so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and see how bad that is. But it's nothing that isn't fixable, so nothing to get stressed over. But anyway, I'll uh, catch you when I get back. Well, this is the damage on the wall. Not so ideal. As you can see, they've obviously caught it on the corner, taken the stone off chipped all the render away. Nasty. Well, good morning. Today is a new day and this video is coming to an end, but I am just about to roll into a brand new vlog. So I'm gonna end this one now. I hope you did enjoy this week's video. It was really great getting back into London. As always, I'll leave the relevant links in the description box below. Stay tuned for next week. We're gonna be rolling straight into it, uh, which we've got lots going on. So I look forward to seeing you uh, next week. Take care, enjoy your week and your weekends, and we'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace.